Hey guys, this is Danish and in this video I will be teaching you how you can create your sales and support bot for your business and put it on your website. This will do two things. Your customers will get faster help and this is going to be good for your business. And second, your team, which is already too busy or you are already busy, you will get some space so you don't need to answer the repetitive questions. So let's get started. So you are either click on from the Devi bots website, create a new bot, or from your dashboard, you can click create a new bot. Here you'll be naming it. So we can call it um, Chris, the um, Ports Helper. And what should the bot do? You can just write answer customer questions around sports okay so let's assume we have a sports shop right so just type the name any name you know let's and then what the bot should do if it's a sales bot you can say uh, closing sales if it's a customer service or if it's a it's a knowledge bot you can say consultant simply click on build bot it's gonna take five seconds and voila here you go. That's the screen uh, which will you be working on. If you notice, it's automatically added uh, the sum of the questions here, and it shows you bots knowledge here. So right now it's zero zero because this bot Chris does not know anything about your business, and I will teach you how simple it is to add the information around, about your business. First, let's go down here. You can also ask uh, like uh, Chris to ask your customers following information. So if I click on name, email, and phone, and whenever somebody talks with your bot on your website, Chris will be asking, this chat GPT bot will be asking this information for you so you can outreach them. If you go further down, if you notice, these are the conversation starters. These are the questions here, right here. This will be automatically made for your customer so they don't need to type. They can quickly, you know, click on most frequently asked questions. So you can totally delete them and add the new one right here. If you notice, it's gone from here, right? Uh, what is the refund policy, let's say, okay? So you can add anything you like. So this is the that side. Now let's talk about how you're going to train it, right? So if you notice, you can add manually question and answer. So let's just go in and we can add a question um uh what is uh, the refund policy and i can answer no refund after 30 days partial refund after 15 days okay i can just save this question so there you go i'm saving it and it's gonna take a few seconds, and there you go. You can notice one. So now I the, the bar, Chris knowledge, Chris brain has one knowledge. Now let's talk about website. Great website. You can also add a website link. So let's go here. This is a like a CNN article for today. I can just copy the link, and I can feed it to Chris. There you go. And if you notice, it's fetching this article, converting it, and then finishing it up. And voila, so all the text from this article is added there. It's right now manual scan, but the best part, you can also automatically, you know, like automated scan after a certain time. So if you're, for example, following the stock prices or a live game, you can tell Devi bots that you, how after how much time they should check the information if it's updated or not. This is my favorite feature, right? So that bot is added. Now let's close it. And let's try the adding the text. So if I go here, and this is another BBC article about sports, I copy the text and I just quickly go here and I just add the text. And this is titles just for your reference, right? Uh, so Harrison Ben. This is about a football player who got banned, right? So let's add this one as well. So now, so far, we added three information pieces of information. So now let's check. Let's check if Chris has the knowledge. So let me ask, how much is the lawsuit on Cristiano Ronaldo? How much lawsuit Cristiano Ronaldo faces? Let's say, okay. And if you feed it, let's see. Uh, let's 
checking his thinking. There you go. Cristiano Ronaldo is facing a $1 billion class lawsuit. So guys, if we go to the article, there you go. It's a correct factual information is telling. This is, a, this is today's article. So even chat GPT do not know this, but your own bot will know this and help the customers. Now, let me ask something else, right? Zo Harrison, we added the tech. Let's ask uh, why Zo Harrison got banned, right? So let's see, let's check it out. It's gonna take a few seconds. Zo Harrison got banned for hair pulling and or grabbing. So let's go to the copy text. And if you notice the hair pulling and grabbing. So isn't it awesome, right? Now the final test, we added a, remember the question answers right here? What is the refund policy? So if your customer asks, what is the refund policy? And Harris, Chris will reply to your customer the factual information. There you go. Perfect, right? Do you notice that it's not even like it's asking the different text, right? So now your bot is ready. You can add as many questions you want. You can upload PDF file, text file. You can add any number of websites and it's going to have all those knowledge. This is called Bosch knowledge. If you want to delete some text you added, you can just quickly click here. But once you're done with it, you quickly save it. Once it's saved, you need to make this bot public right here. Once it's public, you need to click on add to website. And there you go. If you notice, they like, add to Devi website. So if you are using Devi website, which is I would recommend you, like for example, if you notice, I have this website here, bookkeeping. So I can add it there. Yeah, I will show you in a bit. So if you click on add it, it's added to my Devi website. But if you have a WordPress website, if you have a Wix website, if you want to add on any other website, you click here, copy this code, and put it on your head on your website homepage. If you don't know, you can ask your developer or it's just like a Google Analytics code, right? You can put it uh, right there below Google Analytics code and how it's going to look like. You want to see it? Let me show you how it's going to look like. So there you go, like previewing. So this is a different bot. I'm just giving you, I will be showing you some examples. See right now, like that. <laughs> so if you click, there you go. If you notice, all the, why this is showing already because this is my computer. So that's why I'm using the same browser. That's why it's also saving the response. If you notice, there you go. So isn't it awesome? I would recommend you to please try. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to our support. These bots is going to be really, really helping your customer and your team. This is not a replacement of a human support. I would encourage you to keep the human support. This is just to answer the repetitive questions or while your team is away on holidays or they're, maybe they're sleeping. So at least Chris or the bot you're going to create is going to help your customers and they will appreciate it while also it's going to help your team and let your business grow. So thank you very much for watching. Talk to you later in another demo.